In this video, you're going to quickly learn how you can connect OpenAI assistants with your HubSpot CRM. You're going to learn how you can create a custom AI property so you or your sales team can save some time. This is going to be a little bit longer video because I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to do this. So make sure to grab something to drink and let's get started. All right, so the first thing is that we want to go to our HubSpot. Basically, we are going to be creating a new column over here that is going to act as a placeholder for our OpenAI assistant. So the first thing is that you want to go to the settings over here and then you want to go to data management and find properties and then inside properties you go and create a new property with this button over here in the object type you want to choose contact in the group this is going to be a contact information because we are going to be collecting leads through our form on our website which i'm also going to demonstrate and that's why we are choosing the contact and contact information in this case because we are talking about the leads not the company i'm going to simply call it ai property but you can name it however you want to maybe ai assistant ai summary whatever and then i'm writing down the description so we are going to see this appear in zapier later on this is a lead summary created by gpt4 ai assistant i think everything is fine we can click next and then as a second step you want to choose your field type so in this case what you want to do is that you want to go and scroll down and find rich text you want to choose rich text because as you can see you can store a lot of text directly inside this so this is perfect for the OpenAI assistant and then lastly we are good to go and we can hit create all right we got a notification on our screen that our property was successfully created so now i'm going to go back to my contact view and here we want to add the new ai property that we have just created we're going to click on edit columns i'm going to search for ai property and as you can see we have it over here so i'm going to hit the checkbox and then at the bottom i'm just going to move it directly next to the email so it's more visible and i'm going to hit apply and just like that we have successfully created our own custom ai property directly inside hubspot which is going to act as a placeholder for the messages that are going to be generated with our open ai assistant and that leads me to our second step which is creating our open ai assistant what you want to do is to go to open ai and log in and on the left panel you're going to find assistants and as you can see i've already created three of them so i'm going to quickly quickly guide you how to do that you firstly name your assistant over here I named it HubSpot AI property assistant and then the most important thing is to create very good instructions for your assistant and for this just to save time I'm going to go inside my own database where I store all my AI automations and we're creating this one which is HubSpot CRM custom AI property assistant summarizing leads and offering tips so I'm just going to go to our step two which is our instructions I'm going to copy the prompt and then place it directly directly over here. Now I'm going to make this bigger and you can pause the video and read through it if you want. I'm not going to read it through, but if you're interested on how you can write prompts like these ones, and definitely go and check out the first link in the description down below where I put together a totally free no junk resource that shows you how you can leverage different parameters when you are creating your AI automations using Zapier or OpenAI assistance. All right, the next thing is that we want to choose our model. In this case, you have generally two different options. You can go with the Turbo or the other one, 1106 which by the way, just represents a date. So you can see this one was launched in November, but in this case, let's just go with the turbo and see how the results look like. And then what you wanna do is to choose your tools. You either choose code interpreter or you go and choose the retrieval. I would recommend you to go with both. It doesn't matter. The main point here is that you wanna choose them because if you don't turn them on, you're not gonna be able to upload files. And that leads me to the last step where you wanna create your own knowledge base. So in this case, I put together an overview of our business, which includes includes all the descriptions, features, pricing options, FAQs, and much more. So this essentially is going to be helping the OpenAI assistant to create better and more customizable answers directly inside our AI property in HubSpot. All right, and that's pretty much it. You can go and hit save over here, but I've already saved it. And once you do that, you are going to be able to go and test your AI assistant as well. So you can go and click on test. And then as you can see here, you can test how the AI assistant is responding 
responding to your questions and play with it and customize it before you actually connect it to your HubSpot CRM through Zapier. And that leads me to our third step where we are going to be creating our AI automation inside Zapier. So here we are going to be connecting the OpenAI Assistant with HubSpot. So for the event, we are going to be choosing new form submissions. This is going to trigger this flow each time we get a new lead through our form on our website. I'm going to continue. You want to connect your HubSpot account with Zapier. It's super simple. You just use your credentials and then you're good to go. You're going to be triggered to do that over here, but I have already done that so I can just continue. And right now, as you can see, you have to specify the exact form that you are talking about. And in our case, we have five different forms on our website that are built with HubSpot. And so for the sake of this video, let's just go with the contact us form and continue. And right now we are going to test this action, whether it works. And for this, we have to create a test lead on our website that is going to come to our HubSpot CRM. So I'm going to go to my website and then go to our contact us page where the contact us form is located. And as you can see here, we have the form here and I have already pre-filled it so we can save some time. We can pause the video and read through it. But the main thing here is that we are going to be using these fields over here to create the AI summary inside our CRM system for our sales team to get more efficient as well as automatically answer and suggest answers to the question or questions that come inside our message. So in this case, I just wrote down, hi, we would like to implement pop-up send on our e-commerce website. In our case, what can pop-up send help us with? I'm going to send this over. All right, we were redirected to our confirmation page. So let's go back to HubSpot and check whether the lead came through. And yeah, it looks like it did. You can see we have the most recent one on top. And this is our message over here with the exact date when the lead was created, which is right now. And right now we can go and find new records over here. And as you can see here, we found the most recent one. And as you can see, it's the exact message that we have just written down. So I can continue with selected record. And here is a very important part of the AI automation. We want to choose the HubSpot once again as our app. And then in the event section, you want to go and find something called find contact. This is very important and I'm going to show you later why we have to do this. But basically right now we have to retrieve the information about our lead, specifically one ID that is going to be very important later on. So you want to choose find contact as your event and then continue. Once again, make sure your HubSpot is connected. Mine is so I can continue. And right now in the first search property name, we want to go and find something that is going to identify the lead that we have just created. So for example, this can be an email. So we want to go and search for contact information. And in this case, let's just use email as our identifier. So I'm going to choose that one. And then in the first search property value, you want to go and from your trigger, choose the dynamic variable called email. And then we are good to go. We can continue. And right now, let's just go and test this, whether we can retrieve the new contact that we have just created. And yeah, it looks like it works. We have the ID. And as you will see later on, this was not available when the form is submitted. So we can right now go and continue. And right now we are going to use the OpenAI Assistant to actually create the content that is going to be stored in our AI property inside a HubSpot. So you want to go and choose the ChatGPT app and you want to go into the event section and choose something called conversation with assistant. Now, what you might have used before is the conversation event. Remember, this is just sending a prompt and receiving answer. But in this case, we are on a more advanced level and we are going to be using our OpenAI assistant that we have created on our OpenAI account. So you want to go with conversation with assistant, then continue. Continue. You want to make sure your OpenAI account is connected with your API key. It's super simple. You go and generate an API key on OpenAI and you're going to be prompted to place it over here. I have already done that so I can continue. And now as the first step, we will need our prompt or AKA message that we sent to our OpenAI assistant and then the OpenAI assistant generates the response back. I'm going to go to my database and in this case, you can see we are on the third step. So I'm just going to copy the prompt from here and place it directly over over here. And as you can see, I'm using different parameters over here. So I'm using the message from our trigger. Then I'm also using the lead name, company, region, industry, and all the information that we got from the form submission. This is going to make the output so much more custom to the specific lead. So us or our sales team can save even more time. I'm also creating a parameter called detail. 
details. And this one, as you will see, is super helpful because it's going to format the output. So it looks very nice inside HubSpot. And then the last thing is that we are writing down the actual prompt based on the mentioned parameters, summarize the lead information and provide insights with tips for our sales team. The second thing we want to do is to go and actually choose our assistant that we want to work with. So in this case, if you remember, I have three different assistants on my OpenAI account that are ready to go. But in this case, we are using the HubSpot AI property assistant. And because we have already created the OpenAI assistant, you can actually skip all of these fields because we have actually set them up directly inside the OpenAI assistant. The last additional thing that you have to do is to choose something called conversation ID. In this case, you can think about it as a memory key. So it's going to store all of the chats within one conversation. So it remembers the prior history about this specific lead. And in this case, you want to make this something that is original to the lead. And so for example, you can go inside your trigger and then choose email address because you know that each lead has a unique email address. All right, and then we are good to go. We can continue. And right now we are going to test this action, whether it works. All right, and we got the green check mark. So let's scroll down and check the results. You want to scroll down and find the variable called full response. You can also use the search bar over here to find it quickly. But as you can see here, we have the OpenAI assistant who has created this answer for us that summarizes the information about the lead and then also summarizes the message that came through the contact us form. But additionally, we also get some insights and sales team tips. So based on the word document, our knowledge base that we uploaded to our OpenAI assistant, it came up with this text over here. So for example, this one is a point from the word document which is one of the features and then we also get some extra tip for the sales team to help them convert this lead. All right, I'm very happy with the results, so we can continue. And right now, our last step is to actually transfer this to our HubSpot. Now for this, we're going to be using the AI property that we have created. So we wanna go and choose HubSpot as our app. And in the event section, we are going to go and search for update contact. Now remember, we have created the contact through our form, but right now we wanna update it with additional information that the OpenAI assistant has just created for us. So I'm I'm going to choose that one as the event. We are going to continue. Once again, make sure HubSpot is connected. Mine is, so I can continue. And right now we actually have only one required field and it's called object ID. Now remember, if you didn't do this step before, you would only have the trigger. So let's just go inside trigger and see whether the ID is located here. And as you can see here, the dynamic variable is here, but it doesn't contain any data. And that's because the lead actually was not created before. It was a form submission as our trigger in this AI automation. So that's why we had to additionally retrieve the information, specifically the ID for this step to work. And as the next step, what you wanna do is to retrieve the AI property that you have created in HubSpot. Now, you are not probably going to have it displayed over here. If you scroll down, you have only the most usual properties and at the bottom, you can see which ones those are. But because we have created a custom property, we have to additionally retrieve it. So you wanna click on additional properties to retrieve. We have created a totally new one. So let's see if we can find it. And yeah, we can. So we can just go and choose this one. And right now, if you go back up, you can see we got the AI property over here. So actually it's not the AI email draft because there was another AI automation I did, but it's going to be the AI property over here. And we are going to go inside our conversation with assistant event. And we want to go and find the dynamic variable called full response. So I'm going to place it over there. If you struggle retrieving your property, what you can do is to actually hit refresh fields. And this one actually refreshes all the properties over here. But right now we are good to go so we can continue. Continue. And right now we are going to put everything together and test whether it works. So I'm going to test this action and we got the confirmation with the ID and with the AI property column that we have created. So let's go back to our HubSpot and yeah, it worked. So as you can see, we have the most recent lead on top and in our custom AI property, we have a text right now. So if I hover over it, you can see it includes the text that the OpenAI assistant has generated. Now, if I go and click on it, you can see that the best part is that it's formatted properly. 
You can see we got the headlines as well as the bold text, we got the lead information summary, and then we also got the insights for the sales team that are using the knowledge base about our product. And then at the bottom, you can see we got additional tip as we have seen before. The last step is that you wanna go and name your Zap. So I named it HubSpot AI Property Assistant. And right now you are ready to go and publish this over here or in this corner over here. I hope this video was helpful. Now remember, if you wanna know how to write the prompts that you have seen in this video, Video, go and check out the first link in the description down below where you are going to find a totally free no junk resource that I put together that teaches you exactly how to leverage different parameters so you can get the most out of ChatGPT whether you are using it in Zapier or directly inside your OpenAI assistant. Now if you want to get access to my AI database as well which includes all of my AI automations and most importantly it includes all of the instructions and prompts for your ChatGPT blogs or OpenAI assistants that you can just simply copy and paste i have different fields that i'm trying to cover so if you see something that is interesting then make sure to check out the first link in the description down below all right thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video i believe you are also going to enjoy this video over here that you can see right now on your screen thank you so much for watching and have a great day